we arrived to Korea two weeks ago and uh, we've been screaming every single day, so we didn't have any breaks. You were just screaming and playing solo queue. The last time I was in Korea, I think there was a lot of uh, a, a lot more problems and a lot more struggling, and I think it has been more fluent this this year in terms of how the atmosphere has been. And right now we're probably giving our 110 percent, so it's been better than it's been when we practice for LCS, which is already something that is a really good thing. You make my room page? Hello, room page? Oh, like a... Hello, room page? Okay. No? Since room page. Since room page. Uh, you make? Fuck. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> really, really, you make or no? No. No? No. Why, why, why make room page? I, I, uh, I play first game yeah. and I don't make room page and first game I see room page yeah. name hello, smiley face and the uh, reduce time spent dead and go press Yeah, you. Dan, Dan, tell camera what okay. what is what is this? Food. What is this? No, Shopra. Normal. Custom couch. Yeah. Huh? You, you custom couch. What's this? No, tell him <laughs> this is custom couch. You know custom couch. I don't know. Joey, teach you meme. No, I don't know. <laughs> Tonight I show you <laughs> custom <laughs> couch. <laughs> Tonight I can show you custom <laughs> couch. I think everyone expected to win, but we respected CLG a lot and had a lot of preparation coming into the games. Probably the most we have prepared since we have been playing together as a team. So we were confident, not really like disrespecting them or anything, but really confident going into the games. If they pick a lot, uh, if they can pick a lot, we, we, we change the first rotation. Yes. We change the first rotation. Why, why pick a lot? Yeah, yeah, I know. We yeah. Pick yeah. My point is that we didn't know they pick a lot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So our draft don't matter because if, if, if they good, we lose, they, we lose no matter what. They, they our, our draft went kind of like what we've been practiced, but we didn't expect their Olaf pick, which at the end, like after we finished the game, everyone was saying that Olaf was fucking strong and countered our team comp. So. That was one thing that we didn't expect uh, because we didn't know he had been playing Olaf. And then um, the other, like, uh, I made one bad roam mid. Uh, it wasn't really a bad roam by me. It was just like a miscommunication between me and Sven that made him get dived. And and then er we just like tried to help him, and uh, everything just became a, a blood fest because we just didn't really accept our loss and move on and just take things slow. We basically lost the game there by trying to salvage the loss instead of cutting the loss. So we are on our way to Keiko Bakery to buy a birthday cake for Perks, which is turning 18 today. I will go check yeah. first place, okay?
Luca. Luca. Luca, we have a little present for you. Wish? Yeah, I can't tell. I can't tell you guys. Okay, okay. Tomorrow we. Let's hope we don't set any fire detectors off. Oh yeah, fuck! It's up try, there, right? Blow the smoke. Keep to the rock. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. What's up? Uh, Italy, Shindra. What do we be like? Canada. Stretching them out in some way. I'm stretching my ass right now. <laughs> you want to film the other side? Thank you for everything, G2. <laughs> Next year I go for Nazi. <laughs> Joe, Joe. <laughs> I can make you, I, I make your, you uh, listen. Give me a Listen. Oh, you listen to me. <laughs> you full sleep? Yeah. No? Are you Bruce Lee? Or Jackie Chan? You know Kung Fu? I felt really nervous going against rocks because I expected them to be like super, super good and have everyone get really like screwed over by them. And I was just really afraid uh, to play against rocks, but at the same time, I was confident that we had a, a good plan, we had a good strategy, and I, I just felt like we, we should give it our best shot. And I was really, really focused going to the game. Fire! 
that we keep saying that we win by just playing on the side lane and not by giving them team fights. And we just give them the team fights twice for no reason. It's not like you can't. Yeah, it's my, my no, no, it's not your no. no. It's, it's, Baron's no, too. Yeah, it's me. Me, me the fight, same, same, same as me. It's everyone fault. No, uh, yeah, uh, it's not your fault. We were playing a good micro game, really good. Everything we have been practiced in Korea, and and then we just like this team fight in mid. We just played it horribly, and uh, the Nocturne ult, uh, just like we didn't tell our top laner to cancel his TP, and we didn't back out in time. Could have just forced Sraka slash and back and put our top laner bot. Uh, it's just when they got that fight and they aced us, then the game was really over again because our team comp was like early to mid game focused. And yeah. Now it's kind of like, but it's not worth it. We lost so much artists. I missed out too. Oh, no, missed out. No. Maybe missed out as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Our game is over. <laughs> new, new, new. 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 I, I didn't feel down really, I felt it was close and the fact that CLG had just lost against Albus made us actually not feel that down on ourselves after losing to Rox because we, we thought that if we just beat Albus next game uh, we would be in a good spot to make it out of group. So dangerous to kill. Oh, Ingo Ingo Trick doesn't get the kick that time. It's smart. Evacuates the rest of the team. Good pull back on the trick to punish him for the failed engage. Fight. Unbelievable. The inhibitor is going to go down. Albus Knox looking They're to do it. They the have game. a player. Only expect and miss the alive. Expect has to flash. The wall's there. The Nexus turret's getting decimated. That's it. Last Albus goes down. Down. Knox. Two and one. I, I was uh, extremely devastated and I was really sad and I was crying and I, I couldn't control myself because I played really horribly and it is because I played bad but it's because I don't know what happened that I played bad. It's because I had so high hopes, expectations of myself of playing really good because I performed really good myself in scrims and then I couldn't pick up my own weight in the stage and that kind of got to me because I was shaking on stage and I was really nervous and I I wanted to win at least one game on the international tournament and it didn't happen yet so I was like extremely devastated and I, I talked to Carlos and some other people that helped me get through it and helped me get to see the bright side of it. There's so much pressure on G2 right now. This is what it all comes down to. This is their chance to turn everything around. You know that no team has ever in the history of the World Championship gone 0-3 in groups and made it to quarterfinals. G2 would be the first team to ever accomplish that if they can win all their games, and they have to start now. And it's such a daunting task because not only would they have to go 3-0, that only gets them into a tiebreaker. Exactly. So if they want to make it out of groups, they actually have to go 4-0. and but if you're going to start somewhere, why not start with the tournament favorites against the Rocks Tigers, who they had a chance to beat last week? When we found out that we were going to, that, that we still had a chance to make it out if we went 3-0 and then won the tiebreaker, we decided that it, we should just like give it our best shot and do everything we can. And we booked uh, extra scrims. Like everyone normally plays uh, two blocks of, of scrims, and we were playing three blocks of scrims a day. And, just try harding as much as we can and really focused on, on our games and all our scrims were going well. Again, same thing, we were going more than, more than equal against a lot of the favorite teams uh, right now and things felt good. A lot of people will tell you that failure is not an option, but it's bullshit. Failure is the most easiest and available option at all times, but it's a choice. Together, we have chosen to succeed the last few days. Together, we've chosen that we're going to fight our way back. 
day by day, game by game, or play, play by play. Okay, guys, ready? On the count of three, keep the fighting. One, two, three. Keep the fighting! Take me, take me, I'm really high for Liquid, first off, you wanted to start by saying something about G2 specifically? Yeah, sure. G2 did a really good job. Yes, they failed. Yes, they could do better. But, but, when they had nothing, literally no reason to play, they could just surrender. They could just go team or go full around. Yes, it would be funny, but they have shown their competitive spirit and they fought until the very end. And you know, guys, when everyone hates you, everyone thinks that you that you don't deserve to represent the region and you find the strength inside of you to fight even if it doesn't matter. That's really cool, guys. Thank you, G2. I think the international stage is gonna be a, a slow process. I think that um, we have hit, I would say, rock bottom in terms of international experience. I think this is the worst world's experience I've had in terms of performance. But I think in terms of practice and uh, like effort and everything, it probably has been the best. So it's a very um, sweet and sour experience. It's so strange to explain, but I feel like from here on, um, we're gonna use this loss and this experience to uh, kind of like have it in the back of our minds and move forward in a very strong way where everyone puts more effort, more focus and really takes international uh, games and everything more serious. Just strength in uh, strength of mind in how we want to really, 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 really win and uh, uh, do well internationally and approach the games with a lot more focus and yeah. I think it's, it's, it's really true and that it's gonna humble us. I mean, at least for myself, I don't know about others, probably with others too, because everyone talks very highly of themselves, which we should, and we are top players and we all know that. But I think it kind of got to us, or it kind of got to us inside that we expected ourselves and we, even though maybe we didn't say it in interviews or we didn't say it in social media, but we all expected ourselves to perform so good and we expected ourselves to not even go second on the groups. We, we wanted to go first on the groups. Like bef before the tournament, we were like, we want to win versus Jocks. We, we don't we want to win versus every team. But I think that was bad mindset that we should just take game by game, especially in the best of one. As much as this hurts us all, I think it's gonna only help us in the long run. This losing and then staying together as a team is like a bonding experience or trusting each other in a loss even and we can only go up from here because we've dominated the Europe, but now we have to do it again. For an, uh, or we should not, we should not have to do it again. But we have to try our best all the time and just keep improving together as a team and going for the future and going into the future as a team. We have a very high cap. Even though we didn't show it this tournament, uh, I'm sure sometimes in the future we will show it.
this night is over, I will guide you home. Oh, no.